Okay, so here we are in the garage. About to fit pre tank fuel filters to KTM 1190. I've been supplied with a Mark IV kit and the new prototype Mark V. See how they fit into the tank. So, um, without further ado, Let's get on with it. Take the side cowlings off to get the top cowling off to get the fuel cap off. Just be careful with these and they come off nicely, isn't it? Don't force them. The last two screws out. And there you have it. I'm just going to give this a quick clean up and get rid of the insert the top. Okay, so we have here the the KTM triple zero three model number. Mark IV Ultra Fill. This is the one that, I'll, that I'll, I want to put in. Now it's a very tight fit into the cap, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to use a little bit of silicon spray just around the top here, just to push it in. Make sure it slides in. You want the holes up the front to vent. Use the um, big zip tie. Make sure it's clean and just to push it in to make sure that all the media gets down there. Like I said, that's a very, very good fit. So I'm just going to push this over. If you want this filter soft to go to the front, and that's the way you need to fill it from the nozzle going that way to make sure you have fuel flows in fast as fast as possible. Okay so now that's done. We can go back to oh, fitting the cap straight back on track down in and all that perfect perfect fit. So I'll just um, put this back together and we'll see how we go. Fill up, fill from the back to the front, and she should be good. Off this front one has to get this lip down and around it underneath that, underneath the tank, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, and the old silicon spray. As you can see, cap sits nice and flat. 
flash. Exactly how it should do. Just remember where there's plastics and that sort of thing. And that's how she looks on the other side. Let's go for her up. See how it goes. Well, after installing this um, fuel pre-filter and using it to fuel up the fuel tank, which probably is a little bit slower to fuel the tank, but not excessively slow. I think the benefits of the filter far outweigh the extra 15 to 20 seconds that it takes to fill the tank up. So in my honest opinion, yes, definitely worth the money, definitely worth the time to install it, and it is a very easy install.